Today's my 15th birthday. How did that happen? I'm gonna have to say it might have been 15 years ago when your parents decided that they wanted to just actually leave. okay. Thank you, I get Well one day the future shining like diamonds. Hey guys, today is June 2nd, the day I turned 15. So I thought I might as well make a video talking about 15 things I have learned in 15 years. Um I just compiled a little list of 15 lessons I've learned on my years of being on this earth. It's actually currently 6.45 a.m. I got up before I had to to make a video. With that, let's go. Despite today, I still don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Ever. It goes floopy this way, floppy that way, but all over the place. That's, that's it. It's okay not to define yourself as something. I don't know, just don't limit yourself to something by defining yourself as something. So just kind of like, do everything. It's important to have friends. Uh, at the beginning of the school year, I was like, friends, people, they suck. Uh, I know everything, I'm like 12. It's actually really important to have friends. The janitor was right. Always be scared. Be scared, but still kind of have that comfortability and happiness. If you're scared constantly, then it's like thrilling, it keeps you on your toes. So it's kind of it's good to have some form of stress in your life just so you can like stay with it, you know? Jealousy will ruin you and make you feel like the world is just crumbling everywhere and everything sucks. So it's really important to find coping methods and like control yourself <laughs> because jealousy sucks and um, it, but it's definitely a part of life and tea kind of all comes from up here so if you can control that then Netflix is really great. I did not know what Netflix was until summer last year, but oh my god, I love it. You put out whatever content you want because it is yours, and if you're proud of it, who gives a damn what anyone else thinks? I've done, I've done a lot of here, not so much on the internet, a lot of exploration, kind of with new things, um, and not a lot of people have liked it, but I don't give a damn! I, I like it a lot. I'm wearing jelly shoes, which kind of scares me because just because you're good at something doesn't mean you have to do it if you're unhappy doing it. But you're good at it, you shouldn't feel obligated by yourself or anyone else to continue to do it. Be f***ing honest with yourself, with others, with the planet, with everyone, to a certain point at least, like a respectful honesty. But it really just kind of eliminates that barrier. I don't know, I guess you might be scared to kind of admit certain things to people, but honestly, once you get them out, you either A, great things will happen, B, not so great things will happen and that person sucks, or C, there is still time to be young and growing up is scary. Um, actually, right after I film this, I'm gonna go watch Barney and Friends, so don't mind me. I wanna go back to preschool! The world is not as big as you think. It's quite small and delicate and yours to travel around. And we're all living on one planet. Why why be scared of it? It's it's my home, so I'm gonna see as much of my home as I can. Live. Don't just exist. Live for something, do something, be awesome, and make cool things, and have sex. Create your own fun. No one is there to do it for you. People, yes, they can help and help you have a good time, but with the days when you're sitting alone by yourself, it's your responsibility to, to create your own fun and your own excitement in your own life. Always learn to make yourself happy and never fully rely on anyone else. Crying is super cleansing, and I think that if you're feeling all like, and pretty gross, it's probably because you haven't cried in a long time. Crying is just so cleansing for me. But I'm not sensitive that much, so it takes a lot for me to cry, but like once I do, it's like, yeah! And the last tip, people are great, not everyone is bad. My attitude at the beginning of the school year was, everyone sucks, everyone mean. Yes, a lot of people are mean and sucky, but there are really, really great people that you will find who are super nice and you're so blessed to have. And I met some amazing people this year that I'm so grateful that I found and if I not really opened myself up to them, which at the beginning of the year I didn't fully, where would I be? I honestly have no idea. It's not as hard as you think. You just need to talk to people and 15 tips, 15 years. Happy womb exit celebration day to me. <laughs> so I'm like not 12 anymore. I think I got some lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, so like I'm not 12 anymore. <laughs>
Um, make sure to subscribe to me, like my things, things in the description, just check it all out. I did a birthday vlog on my second channel, Sermons 2, so make sure to check that out. See ya!